And I, I look at workflow products and say, this is, this was the right way to approach this from a traditional software engineering standpoint, like a year or two ago when models were smart, but not that smart. And I think we've learned the last few years that you should always bet on the model. The models are always going to get smarter. Um, and the right thing to do is to find ways to give those models more agency over time. And I think the reason people have been shy about doing workflow automation, like fully agentic all the way down, um, is because they didn't really trust it to be reliable. They didn't feel like the models were there yet. But I think that was the time. I think we've gone through that transition from... You know, you have a workflow that defines step one, step two, step three, step four. And maybe there's some LLM calls inside it to what if you just let the agent plan the whole thing? Um, and the advantages you get out of this are tremendous because uh, let's say you run into an error state. In a workflow product, if you don't have a way to handle the error state, it just breaks. In an agent product, it just kind of figures it out, works around it. It can handle nuance much better. And also, as you mentioned, it's just a whole lot easier to set up. Um, and so we've been trying to say, hey, we're going to bet on the models. Um, some of our workflow competitors have kind of done a hybrid solution where they say, we're going to have an agent for the purpose of creating the workflow. So like if you, if you use string, this is the approach of string, but the output of that is still a workflow. And so it's fairly constrained at what it can do. And, and we're saying, hey, not only are we going to have the, the setup portion be an agent, but the actual implementation is going to be an agent as well.